Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. Today's Gospel is from St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 7 through 11. Let's say our prayer, though, before we read today's Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, enlighten our hearts and minds, that we may learn and understand your teachings and apply them to our lives. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. And now today's Gospel according to St. Luke. Now Herod, the Tetrarch, heard of all that was done, and he was perplexed, because it was said by some that John had been raised from the dead, by some that Elijah had appeared, and by others that one of the old prophets had risen. Herod said, John, I beheaded, but who is this about whom I hear such things? And he sought to see him. On their return the apostles told him what they had done, and he took them and withdrew apart to a city called Bethsaida. When the crowds learned it, they followed him, and he welcomed them and spoke to them of the kingdom of God and cured those who had need of healing. The Word of God. Today's Gospel is placed between two significant events, and refers to the one and gives a hint about the other. In the first event, the one referred to in verse 10 when St. Luke says, On their return the apostles told him what they had done. In verses 1 through 6 of chapter 9, our Lord sent the apostles out to preach the good news and to heal. He told them not to take anything with them, no staff, no bag, no bread, no money, and no extra clothing. Go out only with the clothes on your backs and your faith. Well, friends, we are called to do much the same thing. Each of us is expected to carry the good news of our Lord to the world, in many cases an unbelieving and corrupt world. How we fulfill this mission will be different for each of us. My mission, the Gospel Minute, will be different than yours. Perhaps your mission is to provide a good Orthodox home to your family, and that's just as important as my mission. Some of you will be expected to take part in your local communities through charitable organizations or through organizations in your own parish. Some will be asked to visit the sick. There are many, many ways within our homes, parishes, and communities that we can show the world what Christianity, and especially Orthodox Christianity really is. I ask you to search your minds and hearts and ask you yourselves what you can do. But do something for the love of our Lord. Many of you share the Gospel Minute with your Facebook friends and many retweet those programs on Twitter. For that I thank you for it helps me in my mission. But by sharing and retweeting to your friends you are taking the same road the apostles took when our Lord sent them out on their mission. You are spreading the good news that our Lord taught. You have become evangelists yourselves. Well, have a good day, everyone, and I'll see you right here again tomorrow. May God bless us all. Oh, give